Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Migrox21 here with another video, and today I'm gonna analyze Animal Jam Classic and conclude whether or not Animal Jam Classic is bad for your mental health. Psst, you should also watch this whole video and give me a like and comment for a chance to win a black long spike collar! Quick side note though, this video is not meant to attack the game as of course this game is my pride and joy and I absolutely love this community with my whole heart. This video is purely for educational and entertainment purposes. This video is meant for audiences 13 plus and here I will leave you with a potential trigger warning as we are talking about mental health. Animal Jam Classic, formerly known as Animal Jam, is an online virtual world targeted towards children ages 7 to 12. The game became extremely popular quickly, but began to lose the attention of youngsters just as quickly after Animal Jam Play Wild was released to mobile devices. To give you guys a better visual, there are a total of 130 million plus accounts ever made on Animal Jam Classic. Now, there are only 3.3 million monthly players as of late 2020. Before I continue with this video, if you would like to watch me elaborate amongst the topic of Animal Jam's audience dying, make sure to check out my video, The End of Animal Jam Classic, as I believe these two videos in a sense will go hand in hand with one another. Since Animal Jam Play Wild was released, more and more players have been claiming the game to be toxic as well as the community. With so many accusations amongst the game being toxic, I thought to ask the question, is Animal Jam bad for your mental health? Of course, the final concluded answer on whether or not Animal Jam Classic is bad for your mental health will not apply to everyone, but this is more of a generalization based upon the data I was able to gather myself. In an attempt to gather data, I used my Animal Jam Instagram account at migrox21yt and asked you guys some questions. If you were an individual who responded to any of these questions, I truly thank you dearly, as this video wouldn't have been possible without you guys. Before we get into the questions as well as their results, let's talk about what mental health is. By definition, mental health is a person's condition with regard to their psychological and emotional well-being. Basically, mental health being a state with how you as a person cope with things. The first question I asked was, has an animal jam negatively affected your mental health negatively? And if so, why slash how? With 192 total voters, 40% of users said that indeed animal jam has negatively affected their mental health. That is 77 people out of 192 total individuals who voted. With tons of responses as to why Animal Jam negatively affected their mental health, a majority of the reason was claimed to be from the quote-unquote toxic people who play the game. This often being referred to people in-game who are rare hungry and would rather put pixels over friends. Instead of just reading all of the responses that simply say that people are toxic, I picked out a few thorough responses which really show why people's mental health were negatively affected by Animal Jam Classic. My dear friend Maximum AJ responded saying, In 2016, I got so much hate I ended up deleting my 10k follower Instagram account. I hated everything and some parts of the community. As crazy as it sounds, it has left me to be scarred because some people's words were so toxic. Patch the Alpha responded with, literally gave me depression by trying to deplatform me. I was constantly outcasted. Garden Fox AJ responded with, the low-key hierarchy of rares makes me feel like I'm worthless in-game and mentally. Last but not least, Molo AJ responded with, I got sucked into a really, really bad friend group and went through a lot of mental abuse. There were many more responses of individuals telling their stories as to why they felt like Animal Jam Classic was toxic. Some responses were so heartbreaking that I didn't want to disclose them out of respect for what they had undergone. Over 50% of individuals who typed out why they felt like Animal Jam Classic was toxic was more so in regards to experience that they've had with people they met throughout the game. This leads up to my next question. Have you met more good or bad people on Animal Jam Classic? Out of 239 total voters, 30% of people claimed they had met more negative people than good. This being 71 people out of 239 total voters. Looking through the results, I found that the majority of the people that claimed they had met more negative people than good were smaller influencers. To compare, influencers such as Awesome As Me, 1233, Ellipsity, Maximum, Shelzy, Photography, Synopsis, and many more said they had met more good people than bad. Meanwhile, the the largest influencers who voted against this included only Patch the Alpha, Monsoons, Rosie Fuzzy Fox, and Creativity. 
I said that so wrong. <laughs> so in contrast, what I've been able to gather so far is a majority of individuals who feel like Animal Jam Classic has negatively affected their mental health are individuals who are typically smaller influencers. I've also noticed that the bigger influencers who felt as though their mental health was negatively affected were individuals who have had a lot of problems. For example, Monsoons in particular has unfortunately suffered many individuals posing as her in an attempt to get a few rares. Basically, the bigger influencers I named who voted that they had met more bad people than good have had a lot of people posing as them, openly attacking them, and so on and so forth. As an influencer myself, in the time I've had the Instagram account at migrox 21 and YT, I haven't undergone any drama or any extreme hate or posers. So with my personal response to the question, I do definitely have to say I've met more good people than bad. But keep in mind, I've been playing Animal Jam since around late 2012, early 2013. I wasn't always making edits and videos. There was a point where I myself felt very outcasted in my so-called group of Animal Jam friends. At that point, a lot of the friends I had were friends with bigger influencers, and I realized that more often than not, they would all talk to each other more and more, and it felt like they were dissing me. Of course, at this point, being about six to seven years ago, and being six to seven years younger than I am now, these things definitely hit me like a brick, as I've always been a very sensitive individual. So taking into account not only my personal experience, but others, it's very clear that the people who have been negatively affected when playing Animal Jam aren't really affected by the game itself, but the negativity of the people they have met within the game. This leads into my next question, do you believe the over overall Animal Jam community is toxic. This is where it gets super split because with 229 total voters, 45% of individuals said yes, they believe the Animal Jam community is toxic. This is 104 people out of 229 total voters. This was absolutely the most split question, half and half, and I truly believe reviewing the responses that it really depends on how each individual really involved themselves in the community. And to follow up this question, I asked why people believe this if they voted yes. One individual said, someone tried to file a lawsuit against me. They stalked me, called my school, called the college board, posted my personal info, and photos of me around the community. Another individual sharing a similar experience saying, I've had some toxic experiences, like someone leaking phone numbers. Not as many individuals responded to this particular question, but those who did mainly express that they feel the Animal Jam community is toxic as they've had personal experiences with individuals not only threatening to hack or scam them, but go as far as to leak their personal information. I myself had some individuals who were trying to leak a ton of my personal information. It was within my first five live streams. I remember a bunch of random accounts spamming the live chat and even the Animal Jam chat with my address and name and such. In conclusion, taking what I've gathered, I believe Animal Jam is pretty neutral. It's definitely a controversial debate on whether or not the Animal Jam community is good nor bad, but in my personal experience, with the way I've involved myself in the community as of lately, I haven't encountered any heartbreaking drama, trauma, or hurt. I truly believe it depends on the way you present yourself in the community. Is I mean... In real life, not everyone is good or bad. In real life, there are people who live happy-go-lucky lives with tons of friends and get what they want, and for others, it's a struggle. The message I hope anybody can take from this is to not let people affect the way you view something, whether it be music, clothes, or in this case, a game. In reality, unfortunately, there are people who will use you for your kindness. There are people who will choose not to like you for absolutely no reason. But that's completely okay. The person that you are is completely valid. And okay, like as long as your heart and ambitions remain in the right place. I urge those of you guys who have previously been hurt or are currently being mentally affected by individuals you met through Animal Jam to cut those negative ties off and keep positive. Report those individuals guys cause cyberbullying is real and you guys are amazing and you guys don't deserve for your mental well-being to be in the hands of someone who's not treating it like it's fragile because it's so important to take care of ourselves no matter how old or young we are because this stuff starts early it can start early and it's just important i hope you guys don't mind that i gave you kind of more a neutral response is actually very interesting considering that the whole time out of about 200 voters for each question that it was pretty much almost 
almost close to 50 50 most of the time but i did notice that more people kind of talked more positively on it and the main thing that people really said that they didn't like about the game is the rarity system people who are just rude and more about rares than friends basically but I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video. I would absolutely love to hear your opinion on this in the comments. If you guys would like more content like this, do let me know and I'll make sure to give what I can, okay? Other than that, I hope you guys have a phenomenal day and a night and I'll see you guys next time. Alright, stay hydrated my friends. Bye!